Hello, hello, welcome, welcome to Over 60 Still Fabulous Travel with Victoria Rose. We are broadcasting live from Spain and I have a very special guest for you today, a most inspiring woman. But before we go there, I need to do two things. And those things are, I need to heart you. I'm traveling around the world, hearting you and hearting everyone I meet. Because if we haven't got it yet, the world needs more heart. We need to operate more from our hearts. My name is Victoria Rose and I'm very excited to bring you today's episode. Travel with Victoria Rose. So what I have been doing since August of 2018 is traveling all around Europe and in Turkey and enabling me to do that is when I house sit and when I am a volunteer with WorkAway and that means that you get to meet the most amazing people like Eva. Before I ask Eva the three questions, remember there's always three questions, three points that are very important. Hello Gary, where are all the good looking 60 something women? Look, they stop taking care of themselves. Oh, Gary! Not us! <laughs> oh dear! Well, now that deserves a whole different live stream. Let me tell you that, Gary. And there's there are huge reasons why. But for now, let's stick to why we're here today. <clears throat> so one of the things that I want to do is give you a brief introduction about Eva. Eva is Polish and she did something today that has never ever been done to me before. So she came running out to me with this spray, water spray bottle and she sort of went gingle dingle. Schmiggles dingles. Schmiggles dingles. <laughs> I'll never get it right. But basically it's a Polish tradition that happens on Easter Monday. And guess what? We are on Easter Monday. Oh my gosh. And, and we've been schmiggled dingled. And we've been schmiggled dingled. Oh, it was an experience, let me tell you. Eva, born in Poland, and at the age of 24, she left Communist Poland to go to the UK for a holiday. She was still studying in university, and she was just going for that holiday. But what happened was the political situation in Poland changed and so it's the longest holiday she's ever had because she then stayed in the UK for 25 years is that right yeah. 25 years and for the last 12 years Eva has been here in Spain and I can see why she's here in this location it is breathtaking I feel myself blessed to have had the opportunity to spend time here and to meet Eva. So Eva found her vocation at the age of 40 years. And you could probably guess what that is. <laughs> Eva, welcome, welcome. Thank you very much. Ah, it's a pleasure really to have pleased, you. Really pleased to be here. Oh, good. Oh, <laughs> and chatting and chatting with, with my newly made friend. Yes, and this is one of the really good things about doing work away. Doesn't happen all the time, let me tell you. But when you do meet a really special person like Eva, then you find that you know that you've made a friend and if I'm ever back in Spain, guess who I'm going to come and see? <laughs> yes, Eva. <laughs> so, forever. Forever. Oh, yes, Eva is forever. <laughs> Looking at the three questions that I would like to ask Eva, the first question is about Eva's life journey. What an amazing life journey Eva has had. And I'd like her to share that life journey based around the qualities that I have noticed Eva has. You see, one of the things, Gary, about being an older woman is that often you don't recognize the qualities that you do have. And it is because we think, oh, we're being big-headed or, 
or, well, no, I can't actually recognise those things about me that are worthwhile, that add value, that are good, because often we don't get that feedback from society, from our own family and friends. So these are just some of the qualities that I've noticed that Eva has, and uh, definitely caring, an incredibly caring human being generous, an amazingly generous woman. Eva has an incredible sense of humour as well. <laughs> Trip me up a couple of times. <laughs> like running after me with the water bottle today to schmingle google thingy, whatever it is. Schmingles thingles. Schmingles. It's, it's a Polish tradition. <laughs> and it had to be done. It had, just had to be done, you know, Polish tradition. The other thing ever shows incredible loyalty and determination. So here's my question to you, Eva. What has happened in, in your life's journey that has caused you to have many qualities, in particular these qualities that I've noticed? Please share. Thank you. I think mostly was I was influenced by my mother who uh, brought me by her by herself. And who was a very strong woman. She was an Auschwitz survivor, so uh, very, very determined and positive and eternal optimist. So this is this this is the kind of thing I, I came out with when I left home at 24. And as Victoria mentioned, I, I, I went to the UK for holiday and the longest holiday I've ever had. <laughs> it wasn't always rosy, it wasn't always positive, uh, but uh, I had to make my new life in, in the UK when I decided to stay. Uh, learn the language because I didn't, I didn't speak uh, very much English. Uh, get, get a profession and start from the bottom. And I think the circumstances made me very determined to to succeed and also Victoria mentioned lo loyalty I think because because I left all the family back in Poland and all my friends in Poland I had to make new friends and loyalty was very very important just just to cultivate those few friends that I've had so that was that was in my 20s then at the age of 40 I realized that I I don't want to do anything else in my life just cook because that was that was my, my passion, and uh, my husband and I we opened a restaurant, and I was I was the chef, the the bottle washer, and everything else, <laughs> <laughs> and the mother as well. I was bringing up my son. Uh, so uh, again, determination, uh, will to 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 succeed because I I didn't have any experience. Just, just, just the fact that I could cook was wasn't enough to run a successful restaurant. So I had to learn very, very fast. That was the the the, the fastest learning curve that I've ever experienced in my life. But uh, but I I did it, and for ten years I was running this restaurant. Uh, but uh, after ten years, I I started getting itchy feet and 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 thinking of something else. It was lovely running restaurant, uh, but I never, never saw the customers very rarely because they were on the on the other end. And getting getting to to talk to people and and exchange uh, views on food and, and and eating was was something that I really enjoyed. So I decided that I really wanted to to run cookery courses. And where else? What what's better place than than southern Spain? Three hundred. Days of sunshine, woo! <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful surroundings, yes. Evergreen olive trees, and and peace and quiet and fabulous, fabulous food. Mm. So again, at the age of fifty, wow. I've given given up the life that I had, com comfort of, of of the old life, and and we decided to to take on this project, building two houses, and establishing this cookery school business. Wow. Uh, so uh, again, a another project and and another lots of difficulties and setbacks, but uh, 
you know if 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 you don't have any hardship the the success is not so sweet because <laughs> <laughs> because what's the point? So you have to you have to suffer to <laughs> <laughs> Well it seems that way, amazingly. Yes, but <laughs> then you forget the suffering and ah. and uh, and you you just you just treasure the success. Ah. So this this is me in Spain now. And also I wanted to mention that uh, uh, we we moved to Spain when we had a son, uh, still have a son. Who, who was 15 at the time, and it was a very difficult time for him because he found it very difficult to adjust to, to the new life and had to learn new language again and uh, go to, to new school. So he was, he was not very happy here and didn't know what to do. Eventually he went to Poland and, and everything changed. Uh, he became a chef, Woo! like mother, like son, <laughs> <laughs> following my footsteps, yeah. and uh, and completed the full cycle. I yeah. left, and he went, uh -huh. and he's he's a head chef now in one of the funky restaurants in Warsaw, and also made me a grandmother. Wow! So I'm I'm a very proud mother and very proud grandmother, and and I'm still enjoying life uh, in. In here in Spain, and and laugh uh, doing cookery classes, like 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 having people to to come and and explore this this beautiful area and 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 sample this fabulous food and wine that that we have to offer. So you mentioned that you're a mother, both a mother and a grandmother, which is fabulous. Yes. And talking about mothers, you told me something about your mother, which would have had a great influence on your upbringing. I don't think you mentioned that, but if you have, that's okay. Say it again <laughs> about your mother. Oh, that, that she, was, she, was, she was a survivor of, of Auschwitz uh, concentration camp. She, she was taken when she was six <gasps> and, and she spent uh, six months in Auschwitz and then was completely on her own and had to find her way back uh, back home to Warsaw and find her mother. Her, her father died in Auschwitz and so she had a really really tough life. Despite all this she had amazing sense of humour and amazing vitality and, and, and always wanted wanted to, to do things and it was, as I, as I mentioned before, eternal optimist. Always, everything was always rosy. Uh, everything had to, had to work out. Wow. And she, she, she had this favourite saying, I don't know if the, the translation is, is, is correct, but she said, it's, it's never so bad that it couldn't be worse. So, <laughs> treasure what you've got <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. and forget about uh, the things that you couldn't get. So talking about favourite sayings and your mum and, and your life's journey, uh, what would you say to yourself or what is something that you wish you had known as a younger you? One thing, just one thing. I think follow your passion. If you, if you have a passion, follow it and, and have dreams and, and never give up. Try to, try to achieve whatever you can. Never give up. And also, don't be afraid that things will not work out because they they will always work out, uh, possibly not the way you wanted them to work out, differently, uh, but sometimes even better. So remember, just never be afraid to try new things. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you. Thank so you. I would like, this is my third question now, but before we go into my third question, I want to give our viewers an idea of... Hello, <laughs> an idea of what you are doing here in Spain. Hello, my name is Eva. I am the chef and the owner of Finca Alta Cocina, cooking holiday in Spain. I would like to invite you to my cookery class featuring aubergine or eggplant as some people call it. Come and join me. So Eva has uploaded onto YouTube four 
cooking sessions and three of them are all around aubergine. Now I love eggplants and I've been fortunate to experience each of those recipes. What I will do at the end of this live stream is post the link to the first one click on it go and have a look and know there are three other recipes on eva's channel so here's my my third and final question eva what is it that makes your cooking holiday in spain so amazing not not trying to sound big-headed but it's probably me <laughs> I'm glad you said this, that. This is just a joke. This is a joke. She, she, Victoria mentioned that I had a sense of humour. <laughs> uh, first of all, it's it's supposed to be 300 sunny days a year. Uh, unfortunately, Victoria didn't experience it very much because it's been raining a lot. But we, uh, people who live here, love the rain this time of year because we know that that means that there won't be any drought later on in the year. Mm. Uh, fantastic uh, uh, surroundings, mountains, Grasolema mountains are just, just behind us and, and in front of us and uh, I've got very very comfortable accommodation for... Comfortable? It's more than comfortable! Amazing accommodation! <laughs> Fully self-contained, it's like your home away from yes, home. Yes, there are two separate houses. My house mm. where, where, where the cooking classes take place and, and the guest house where there are uh, four uh, ensuite bedrooms with, with a big lounge and a big uh, fully equipped kitchen. Equipped kitchen. Uh, so those are the two things. Fabulous food uh, that is mm. so fresh. Uh, you know sometimes to get it freshly picked from from the tree or, or from the from the plant and your own olive oil yes and my own olive oil uh, <laughs> uh, that i that i pick myself and the olives i pick myself and and they're being pressed in just around the corner from here so you can sample that and even if if if, if you can uh, you can you can take some if your luggage allows uh you can take some back home with you uh so uh ah, lovely swimming pool as yes. well oh yes big <laughs> big swimming pool and 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 completely secluded place so so it's very private and to unwind and relax and and forget about busy life back home Ooh. so and all you need to do is walk through the front gates past the big swimming pool to the stream and then go left and you're walking through gum groves of gum trees and whole heap of olive trees in the fields and the stream bubbling and gurgling away and the birds the birds don't stop here they're 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 tw 24 7 the they birds go, go, they're going through the <laughs> night also the goats we've got we've got friendly uh, go goats as neighbors and they yeah. they they walk past my gate so you can you their can bells them and ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding, ding bells <laughs> so it's idyllic really it is idyllic now you don't you have lovely exclusively sized cooking holidays what's the maximum maximum is six people so so everybody can get mm. hands-on experience and uh, you don't have to but but you know if you want to you can you can cook all the dishes by yourself i just give instructions and show you how to do it and then uh you you just let go and 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 enjoy cooking and then we, we 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 sit down in the evening and and appreciate all the all the food that we've prepared and and exchange lovely stories oh, and with, the wine with what the wine a glass of wine or two <laughs> or three so I, I just wanted to mention that i i i have two dates for this year uh one is june 19 to 23rd uh, and the second one is September 25th to 29th. Uh, I only set two two uh, dates because I am quite busy and I would like to do other things. I travel and, and of course I have to see my grandson. Mm -hmm. But if you if you would like a different dates, uh, we can we can discuss it. You can drop me a line or you can call me uh, on on the on my website. Uh, cooking holiday in Spain fincaaltacocina.com and we can we can discuss the discuss the dates that suit, suit both of us 
what's the minimum? So the, the maximum is... The six? minimum is two. Minimum two. is two. Oh, amazing. Imagine just having a two-day personalised holiday, cooking holiday in Spain. What more could you ask? <laughs> Hey, Kesa, thank you for joining us. You are right. It is absolutely beautiful here. So, so as a final goodbye, is there, is there any one thing you would like to say? Oh, as I said on my video, come and join me. I love it. Come and join ever. It won't be us uh, unless uh, it works in with when I come back because I kind of think I will some stage and we're just across the pond from Morocco as well yes which is rather enchanting yeah well thank you everyone for joining us today thank you Eva thank you it's been thank fabulous you. being here thank you yeah. and I hope we can we, we encourage more people to, to come and, and explore this beautiful area yes Yes, thank you. I'll post wow. the links in the comments to Eva's Facebook business page and to Eva's website. So you can click on those links and find out more and contact Eva. Hey, how good is that? There you go. Bye.